Hey, so today we're going to look at adding custom SNMP polls on a device, specifically a Server Technologies power distribution unit. So this is an SNMP um, capable box that allows me to track the power. Um, just like with anything, IMC is a great product, but it doesn't do everything out of the box that you might want it to. Um, so we want to have the ability to add custom SNMP polls so we can track things that we want to see over time. In this case, I got new toys for the lab. So these new uh, PDUs will allow me to turn the gear off um, remotely and not having to go into the lab, which is a great thing. And my power bill does love me when I turn that gear off. So let's go take a look. So here we are on the HP IMC homepage. And of course, this is a uh, trial version here. You can always get one of those at uh, the HP website. So before we get started here, we're going to go look at this uh, this server technology sentry switched CDU PDU um, it's a power distribution unit it's kinda cool it gives us outlet per per outlet outlet control so I can turn anyone on or off remotely as I want um, I can put them actually into groups as well so uh, which is something I'm gonna be doing here in the lab and the cool thing about it is I can actually track the total power consumption so in this case I got 496 watts or a 4.13 amp load currently so there's something that I might want to track over time so given that that's the case, I'm going to go out to the Server Technologies website here and grab the MIBs, which I've already done. I'm not going to show you guys how to download off the internet. Don't worry. So I've already grabbed that uh, particular MIB. And uh, there we are. So let's take a look into the, the Sentry OID tree here. So this is just the documentation for the MIB, right? So we're going to go and take a look. We'll drag that down. We want to see, look at that, system total power. That actually looks like something we might want to see, we might want to look at, right? So as you read through the MIBs, you can go through and see if there's anything in here that you might want to track. Um, in this case, I'm, I'm pretty clear that's the, the one I most likely want to get. So now we're going to go see if that human readable label is the same and gets me the same information as that number in the total power consumption. So we're going to put in um, admin admin, which is the username and password here. We're going to log in. So now we're going to navigate over to the system resource management and MIB management. So IMC has an integrated MIB browser in here. If you don't see it, you might not be logged in as an admin account, right? So we're going to go and we're going to find a couple of these, um, the Sentry things, uh, the PDUs. There we are. We've got a couple of them in here. Click OK. So now this is the box that we're going to start performing some SNMP operations on right so before we actually really can go here um, I, I did this before so we'll, we'll show you the step here we're gonna have to compile the MIB right so we're gonna browse out to that MIB that we downloaded from the server technologies website IMC and we're gonna go to MIBs this is just where I happen to have copied it for you. Probably going to be in your downloads directory. And I've got that Sentry 3 MIB or dot MIB. There we go. I would normally open that um, and then I'm just going to grab it. I'm going to move it up. In my case, you know, I, I would drop it in, in others, right? Um, because I don't have a, a category for it right now. And then in my case, it's already compiled and loaded. So I don't have to worry about that step. But just want to make sure you guys have that. So now we're going to navigate down through the MIB tree. And again, we're looking for that, uh, I think it was total system power, right? We're looking for that object to see if what we want to see, that, that information, that total watts number or, or amps even, maybe we want to track it in amps. We want to see if that's accessible in that, um, in that particular MIB that we saw before. So that was in the system group and we're going to go, um, not system total count, system total power. We're going to right click, we're going to go get. Look at that, 496. So that's the exact same number. If we go back over to the sentry, not the load. Um, there we are up here, the 496 watts, total power consumption, right? So this looks like this is indeed the specific MIB object that we want to grab, right? So we can take a quick copy of this just so we have that later. We're going to go back to IMC. So now comes the fun part. 
performance management. I'm going to go into global index settings and we are going to add ourselves a new custom index. So the first thing we're going to do here is put in a name for the custom index, right? So we'll, we will say Century Total System Power. So use something that's pretty descriptive so you'll be able to, to reference it when you go back and you look at this because this is what's going to show in the IMC interface. So next we're going to go and actually define the measurement type. So that's going to be watts here. So you might want to look at the predefined to see if there's something there, but I happen to know watts is not one of them. So for this next step, this is a little bit trickier. You might want to look at the administrator guide to get more familiar with this. Um, as well, there's some tips up here at the top. Um, I've already figured this out, so we're going to go index 1, bracket, 0, bracket, colon, and we're going to put a label in here now. So this is usually what I tend to do is the, the label of the actual MIB. So system total power was the name of that MIB, the, the English descriptive name. Um, colon 1, colon 0, close it off. There we go. Now we are going to go find that select OID. And we're going to navigate back down to, this, to the server technologies, the same one we looked at before. Here we go, system group, and that was the system total power. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm just going to copy this. Uh, I missed the one. We'll copy that again and put that in as the instance label definition. Again, you can refer to the docs for exactly what that field is, but it's basically what it sounds like. It's a, it's a label definition. So now we're going to go and test these. So we're going to go select, use the IMC query engine to navigate down again to that century, the 10101031. We're going to click OK. We're going to click on the resolve button now. So there we are. Look at that. There's the select instance, and there's that magic 496 number. So what's nice about this is once you've defined this once, I'm going to be able to go in and apply this to the other one. So if you have a custom index for whatever kind of device you have, whether that's... Um, UPSs, you know, things like that. Um, you, you can basically do it one time for that entire range of devices and you should be good to go. Let's be a little more descriptive here. I want to use PDU. We'll go apply. There we go. It's been done successfully. So the next step that we're going to look at is now we actually want to set thresholds for this. So we're going to go all the way to the last one, which we know that's where the user defined is, and we're going to double click on this. So here we can enable the threshold. We could actually have two different thresholds, a major and a minor. Um, we've got a measurement here, so we're going to put in the value for that measurement. So maybe, you know, and this is where you would normally want to think about this and plan this out a little more. I'm doing this on the fly. You know, um, repeat times, you know, how many times do I want this threshold to be crossed? before I actually start raising an alarm. In my case, I'll choose 400, right? Maybe I want to have the value needs to be 400 or 200, and I want it to be crossed 300 times, or sorry, three times over a period of um, 3,000 seconds, right? So three, five minutes, not five minutes, but 50 minutes at this point, I think, if my math's right. Um, and so that would set the polling period, right? And we're going to go match. So do we want it to be between? Do we want to, How do we want to do this, right? Oh, so that's not an equal. I want to have it greater than. All right, so if the number is greater than 200 watts for three polling periods, then we're gonna, gonna um, now IMC is going to raise an alarm. Right, so now that we've set up the thresholds, the next step here is to actually start tracking this on a couple of devices. So you saw earlier we had two of those PDUs. So we're going to go Add Monitor. We're going to select the specific index we want. So by default, it won't show up. We're only showing the common indexes. You have to click on the All Index button, go to the bottom, and then select that Century PDU Total System Power. Right. So there's that descriptive name that we wanted to make sure that was really clear. Right. Naming is very, very important. 
select the device, select the second device, click OK. Now, all of these monitoring settings here, these really matter a lot more when you're doing things on, on interfaces. In this case, it, it really doesn't apply, but we're just going to click OK. Succeeded, succeeded. Now we click Close. We go down to the bottom. The boxes we're looking for are not on this page, so we'll go to page two. There's also some filtering that you could have done to get here as well, but we'll just do this the, uh, the easiest way. So we'll click Sentry, click Sentry, there we go, and we're going to save this as a new view. So now I'm going to be creating a performance view. So just because you're tracking the information doesn't mean you have a place to go see it yet. It'll be there in the database. right? So if you wanted to do um, other, other tracks, you could go in here and select a specific index. But for my case, I'm just going to delete out everything except for that total power. I want to create a custom view where I can see the power that's being used. right? There we go. Got both of them. We're going to click Save. Again, a descriptive name. So the Sentry PDU total, um, yeah, total system power. Right? Who do I want to have access to it? And the description is tracking power usage on Sentry, on server technologies, Sentry PDU through SNMP. There we go. Click OK. Add it successfully. Now we're going to click Close. So we're going to go to Performance Options here and look at some of the monitoring options. Uh, actually, this is not where I want to be. I want to be in um, Data Shown in the Topology. right? So I want to add this so that these are those two particular um, monitors we just added will show up on the topology map as well. So if we had created a custom um, a custom object here, maybe this belongs in UPSs and would be applied only to UPSs, I'm just going to throw it into the default devices. Again, read through the admin guide. There's a lot of good information in there. I'm kind of doing this the fast, easy way on the fly. Uh, user defined, time range latest, click OK. And so now this will be added to default um, to the, the data shown in the topology map for those particular Sentry PDUs. I'm going to click on the button here and look at that. Uh, we have no data. So that's probably, you know what, thinking about this now, that is because I set the polling period to be something like 4,000 seconds. So we're going to go fix that now, right? So this is, this is a good lesson in when you do things on the fly, you really have to think about them. So I'm going to go back to the other page here, user defined, and I will show you guys why we're not tracking any data yet. So you can see here the interval is 3,000 seconds, so we're only going to pull this every 50 minutes. You do not want to sit here and watch this video for 50 minutes waiting for that number to come up, right? So we're actually going to change things up here and go the interval is going to be every 300 seconds, but I want the repeat time to be some value higher than that to make sure that... Um, I want, I want it to be maybe two hours or three hours or something like that, right? So I can get out my little uh, handy calculator here. And we will say 300. Five times 60, so that's 300 seconds, right? So that's the number we want. And that would be 5 minutes times 60 seconds is 300 minutes, okay? So we want 60 minutes times 5 hours is 300 minutes times that 300 second value, just thinking about this on the fly, or times 60 seconds, sorry. So that would be 18,000 seconds, right? So the repeat time actually here is just going to be 300, right? But again, you, this is the, you got to start thinking about this math and starting to think in this directions to be able to figure out and get the system to do what you want it to do the way you want it to do it. So we're going to go back into the Sentry PDU here. And again, there's still no data, and that's normal because we now set the polling period for five minutes. So now we're going to do a little video magic, a little time warp. 
and here we are again and we click on the magic button and in the future we've had gone through that polling period and now you've got 496 watts and 360 and that my friends is adding a custom poll in IMC see you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial